Hey guys, I'm just going to show you how to install this mSATA SSD into the X230. Now, it works in other laptops as well, but I'm just going to show you the X230. I'm going to start off by taking off the exterior screws. Now, I always say that you should use screw maps, but really it doesn't matter with this model because all the exterior screws are literally the same. They're all the same size, color, same everything. So it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> That's one thing because the speaker grill is right there. So the screws can attach it attach to it because they're both mag magnetic. was just washed through a bit. Come back to that. Screw headings. Yeah, um, it was just a bit embedded in, so I just used this hard drive magnet, pulled it out. You can see the screw maps just over there. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to flip it over. Sorry if this is a bit shaky. I'm gonna I'm kind of having to do this one-handed. Okay, now lift the lid open. Keyboard setup. I'm gonna use this nylon spudger. It's long and thin, but you can also use an angle, a pry tool, which is easy. So all I need to do is I need to just Insert it slightly, lift, to the other side, insert, and lift. I want to lift it. <laughs> this is why I say you can use the angle pry tool as well. You can lift it like that. Now you've got little connectors there. This for the keyboard, that for the touchpad. I'm just going to move this over. The flex is quite nicely put. Just grab the edge there, pull it off. I'm just gonna lift with my finger now. That's how. Now you can pull, use the pull tab, take it out. But if not, you can always just use a pair of tweezers. And that's out. I'm just gonna lift from here and slide my finger along it. It just comes out like so. Put that to the side. Now the M setter itself is going in place of the W WAN chip, which is just there, which is responsible for long range communication using radio frequencies. So like um, if you want to put a SIM card in, that's pretty much what does it. I'm going to unscrew it. Just put the screw to the side there. I'm going to undo the connections. Do the black one first. <laughs> Just gonna have to switch hands. Third one. Blue one. Just gonna lift. Here. and that just comes out like so. Now you can cover these with electrical tape in case you're worried about shorts, but honestly I, do, I, I don't think that's going to happen because it's not really an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the M setter, put that down, place these cables aside, put them out of the way. Sorry, this is taking too long. So um, the one I'm using is the Samsung SSD 850 Evo the M SATA connection. You can try M.2, but that's not going to work. 
this is an M SATA connection, which is the predecessor to M.2. It uses the same basic structure as an SSD, but this one there. So you just screw it in, and if you want, you could put the wires in, or you can completely unmap them. So now it's so in, and I can boot straight to it, or I can boot to my primary drive and use the six bandable storage. All right. Hope you enjoyed, and if you need any help, don't forget to contact us, because if we can't fix it, no one can.